Hello, I'm Matt. I'm Oliver. We're Brimner Rising. Uh, this is a Kerrang! podcast at Reading Festival 2011. Hello and welcome to the Crank Podcast Day 1. Joining me is Matt and Ollie from Bring Me The Horizon. How are you doing? Not bad, man. How are you? Excellent. I'm good. Um, you've got a bit of mud on your jacket. What happened? Just a bit. I'm still in my stage clothes. Right. So uh, it's a bit, it wore a bit of a sludge vest. Yeah, yeah. So, how, I mean, how is this afternoon show? It was dope, man. Um, yeah, we're wicked. We were nervous as all, so... It was cool. <laughs> yeah, when we got up there, you know, it was wicked, man. Like... It just seemed like chaos, like every song, some mental rapping, whether it were a wall or death. Everyone crowd surfing and giving me a high five. Kids coming on stage and singing, and just you know, like so much was kicking off. Excellent. A lot of, uh, must be a lot of nerves when you're climbing those stairs to uh, go on the main stage. Yeah, for real, man. Like I said to like Matt this morning, like as much as I'm looking forward to the show, I can't wait for it to, for him to be over because it's just so many, it's so it makes me so nervous. But as soon as you're on there, it all disappears. Like I had. I had such a good time today. Awesome. You've got the best seat in the house. Uh, yeah. What's the view like from the drum kit? Uh, pretty good, yeah. Um, pretty weird, just putting your head up and looking at uh, a lot of people, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it was just it was a good time today. Like, like Ollie said, we were very nervous before we went on. It's, you know, it's Reading Festival, main stage. Like, we're, well, we're coming to Leeds when we were kids and stuff, you know what I mean? So it's yeah, a bit, yeah. it's a big festival for us. So um, yeah, I thought it, it was good. Like, I was really cold at first, so I was really tense, but yeah. after a while, I just, yeah, just got into it, I had a really good time. I mean, how's your summer festival kind of tour been so far? Have you got many other kind of dates in the continent? This is it now, this is the last thing, and then the last off show. to America. Oh yeah, with so, Architects and yeah. um, he's opening for you? It's Architects, it was while she sleeps, but now because of these issues, I can't, so it's a band called um, Off Legends, Legends, On Broken Wings. These uh, notes, Parkway Drive, and Architects. Architects. Oh, cool. So it should be wicked. Yeah. So you've done like uh, Parkway and Architects before on the last tour. How, how's it touring with uh, like Parkway Drive first of all? It's good, man. I mean, like the whole reason this tour is the way it is is because we just went, we just want our mates out on tour. We just want people that we love to tour with and bands that we respect and love. So I mean, Architects are our best friends. Parkway Drive are great dudes, and a great band. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's basically the reason the tour is the way it is. These nuts, our, our friends from Australia, like really good friends. So yeah, we're just really, we're more excited just to go and hang out than to play fish yeah, shows. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, you, your uh, your vocal appearance on the Made Sixes album is going to be out soon. Uh, how is it? Uh, you know, recording with Josh. It was wicked, man. It's it's kind of surreal. You know what I mean? Like you meet Six, like like legends now. You know what I mean? And so big and doing stuff and lens. I guess for uh, someone like me and this heavy metal band to be on a pop punk record is it, it's kind of surreal, but it's wicked and it yeah. works really well. And I'm really I'm really proud, and they all loved it, which buzzed me out. So yeah. I'm excited for everyone to be here. Awesome. Were you allowed to do what you wanted, or did they have an idea in mind what you, they wanted you to do? Yeah, say? I mean, yeah, both really. Yeah. I guess like they let me do what I do, and then you were like, we really like when you do like the deep growls or this and stuff. And I guess I took my own take on it, but. Yeah. I mean, all the lyrics were wrote for me and stuff, so yeah, yeah it's wicked. Cool, man. And uh, Matt, you're, uh, you had a bit of an accident playing football on the last big tour you did in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Um, will you be kind of laying off the football before you go to America? Uh, I've, I've played it again uh, in Europe with Architects. Oh, right. And, uh, but I just won't go in net because I made a stupid mistake of going in net, you know what I mean? And my hands are pretty much my prized possession, you know what I mean? So yeah. it was just fucking. Stupid. I shouldn't have been yeah. in the first place. You know, I had gardening gloves on as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I didn't have any protection or, or just just green like rubber gardening gloves. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll still be playing footy, but just not in there. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, what was it like watching the band and you can, you know, just being a sort of weird, very right? weird? Like, I, I, I don't know, just, just proper surreal, you know what I mean? It was pretty cool that I got to watch it though. Like, I watched yeah. it out front a few times, I watched it side stage and stuff. And, so what do you reckon to bring me the right? Cool, man. I, I said to him, like, this bar's cool. Did you Live. buy a t-shirt? <laughs> you what? Did you buy a t-shirt? Nah, I'll get them free. From the pun there in crowd, yeah. crowd surfing. Yeah. It's not like a circle pit. <laughs> no, I'll just say, uh, yes, yeah, it, it was definitely surreal. But I, I wouldn't like to do it again, you know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, it was pretty cool, to be honest. Cool, man. Well, it's been great talking to you. Uh, have a good weekend. Enjoy Leeds tomorrow. I'm sure there'll be some hangovers the next day. Cheers.